Hello everybody, my name is Nir and today I'm going to talk about the interworking between session initiation protocol SIP and the extensible messages and present protocol SMPP in group chat and the agenda for today's presentation is the overview of SIP and SMPP what is SIP, what is SMPP the difference between them and how we can build a rupture system uses using the SIP or SMPP protocol and then we discussed a gateway for interworking between the SIP and SMPP protocol in rupture and why we need a gateway we will discuss later and conclusion and references at the end so here we go um, SIP and SMPP both of them are real-time communication protocols and they are widely beloved over the internet nowadays and we can see that many real-time applications nowadays are using the SIP or SMPP protocol such as the VOIP, um, con, video conferences, even online games also using the SIP and SMPP protocol so people are very concerned that because of the two protocols are widely deployed over the, over the internet is there any way that we can make it to work together? Is there any way we can build, for example, a group chat application that can help us SMPP by client, such as a WhatsApp client, connect to a SIP by client? So that's the problem. So for today's presentations. Okay, what is SIP? SIP SIP it stands for Session Initiation Protocol. It is an application layer of control protocol which is used to manage, establish, modify, and terminate multimedia sessions. And this is designed in 1996 and become standard in June 2002 by ATF. And basically, SIP doesn't provide any services, instead, it's a protocol, it provides the privileges for people to implement it and and we we can see that there are a lot of applications in on the internet are using the SIP protocol such as VOIP calls, video conference, instant messages, file transfer and online game. So what is SMPP? SMPP stands for extensible messages and present protocol. This is an SMLP based message oriented communication protocol and this is designed in 1999 and become standard in 2004 it's, it's the same like SIP is also an open protocol which means that this can be implemented in different way and using an open system approach and on there are that uh, SMPP is designed after SIP um, but it is also provide the same set of features like a SIP protocol such as VOIP, video conference, file transfer, online game, messages and we can see that many uh, many applications especially very famous applications such as WhatsApp that are using the SMPP server and Google Chalk and Facebook also announced that they use SMPP for their uh, just uh, and video feature. So although that they have the same set of features, but there's some differences between the SIP and SMPP. The first thing is SIP is a text based protocol, while SMPP is a SMLP protocol and why SIP support TCP, UDP, SCTP transport and SMPP support TCP only and we one important thing is at the beginning SIP is the design for VOIP services so it doesn't support instant messages at the beginning but then people want it to how the function like SMPP so that add more extensions to the SIP protocol to make it support for instant messages 
Um, on the other hand, SMTP is different. It's first mainly designed for instant messaging services. So it doesn't have the functions such as VoIP, video call, but then people again as some extension to the SMTP protocol to make it support um, VoIP services. So the question is, we use ship or SMTP or you both because basically they will provide the same set of functionalities so okay let's discuss in the context of building a root chat application so both of them both of SIP and SMPP has the extension for root chat SIP has the message session relay protocol MSRP while SMPP has the monthly user chat MUC extension that you to handle the root chat system so is there any way that we can make it work together? Is there any way we can make it into work with each other? So people come to build uh, an idea that building a gateway for interworking between them. We can see that in the middle here in the two are the two gateways for connection between the SIP server and and, and SMPP server. Um, here we see that the two gateways are separate, but in reality, in implementation, we can build the two gateways in the same server. It doesn't matter the, the performance. And okay, let's for example that we we have we have an SMPP client, and this client want to connect to a root chat and talk to a SIP client here. So at the beginning. The client will send a message to the, the SMPP server. The SMPP server will see, oh, the destination is a shape client. So the server will try to forward that message to the gateway, an MUC to MSRP gateway. The gateway then deliver that message to a SIP by server. And then the last step is the SIP by server will forward that message to the SIP client. That's here the, the flow of the message in the system. So let's see how the, the mapping, how the sequence of the message. So here is a, a sequence diagram for a scenario. An a, a, a SMPP user connects to a rip chat by on the SIP server, MSRP conference. And we see that the the solid arrow here stands for SMPP connection. That means that this connection is an SMPP protocol. So it's the uh, SMPP by protocol. And this is uh, adopted arrow, it stands for a SIP connection. So it's a tech by connection. So step one to six is uh, enter room. And step seven to eight is set the nickname after the session is successful establishment. So um, now at the beginning, an SMPP user will try to connect to the SMPP server. And the server say, oh, the destination, that this user wants to connect to a SIP server. So the, the SMPP server will try to forward that message to the gateway and then SMPP to MSRP gateway here. The gateway here then convert the message to a SIP invite message. We can see that they are changed in the the arrow here. This is an SML by connection. This is a text by protocol. And and then that they, we can see that there are many steps here that to establish the connections. And finally, the the mess, the second gateway here, an uh, MSRP to SMTP gateway. We try to send a message back to the user at the beginning to notify that the session has successfully established and the user, SMTP user can now change the message in the root chat. So let's look at more detail in how the mapping happened. We can see that this is a uh, um, SMTP message is in SML format and this is a SIP message, this is a text by format 
and he is the syntax mapping for the SMPP and the SIP. And we can see that at the beginning, for example, user Juliet or oh, Juliet domain, this is the domain for an SMPP user. And the, uh, she wants to connect to a group chat with the domain Verona at chat dog example dog or Archie's. And she wants to have a nickname Julie She's. So based on the destination, the, the SMPP server will forward this message to the gateway and the gateway will convert this SML message to a text by message using the syntax mapping. We can see that the the zip message share the same the same set the same common common attribute with the SML message. The verb attribute here with the verb attribute here and the the two the two attribute here with the true attribute here is the same and the rest here is just the content of the message and we also have a new attribute called con id which identify the user uh, here step number four okay let's see uh, back to step number four that's a, a zip by server send a zip okay message to the gateway to notify that the the, the group chat server accept that user so here is the detail of the message. The verb, we can see it there's a, a squeak here between the verb and the two attribute. The verb here is now the group chat server domain and the term here is the SMPP user domain. The rest of thing is just the content of the message. And another sequence diagram is after the, the SMPP user has successfully established the connection with the the, the root chat server, the ship server, that I begin to exchange the message. And the mechanism here is the same. The first that an SMPP user send a message to the SMPP server. The server decide um, see the destination is a ship client. So we try to forward that message to the gateway, uh, the, the SMPP to MSRP gateway here step 17 and then the gateway will convert that message which the message here to the ascent step message as steps uh, 18 and then the conference is the group chat server here we send um, a, a two a two hundred okay message to the gateway an msrp to smpp gateway and then the, the next step is the gateway will notify the user at the beginning that the message has successfully sent to the, the root chat server by sending a confirmation message back to the, the, the SMPP server here and then it will forward the message back to the SMPP user at the beginning. We can see that there um, some activity happen within one messaging session such as enter room set nickname person uh, broadcast exchange messages invite user to a room access a room and we discussed we have already discussed the enter room and the exchange messages the other uh, activities is happened just with the same mechanism that we have a middle gateway that can handle the, the mapping between the SIP and the SMPP server, the mechanism is the same. So because of the time we don't have this, we don't discuss them here. So conclusion, we can see that both of the SIP and SMPP can perform the same real time functionalities, but because of the design at the beginning, uh, one is just SML based format, the other is tech by format. So we need a mapping between the two protocols so that we can build uh, a gateway server for the interworking between them. And we can see that it's po quite possible for a set by server to work with a SMPP server. But um, the, because of the different syntax that people uh, 
ITF still working on this standard to make it become more stable and for implementation. So hopefully that we see that in the future we can uh, help uh, SMTP clients such as WhatsApp and we can connect to uh, any safe client. We can join a group chat, we can exchange the message within the uh, system. And here the preferences for this presentation and uh, thank you um, that, that's it and thank you for listening to my presentation and I hope that you enjoy this presentation and I I hope that you you um, learn something new uh, from the presentation uh, you learn that what is the what is SMPV how to be a gateway for interworking between them how the mapping happen and we look forward for a standard for the interworking between the ship and the SMPP server in the future. And again, thank you for listening to my presentation.